Okay, what's up guys? Uh, so, this is TK back again. Uh, I was just going to go over my week 3 team builder. Uh, I was going to maybe try something different if it works out this way. Where I'll show you my original team builder. Uh, because I haven't done any of my, battle, my mock battles yet. And if my team changes at all, uh, I might show you an update. Or before the match, I might just go over it a little bit. Um, uh, but I will show you... Uh, my original team builder, my original thoughts, and uh, and just how I break down his team and how it works with mine as well. I'm actually going up against for week three, uh, Mitch, and the Newington Nummel Rumblers. Uh, he's one of my best friends, uh, my college roommate. Uh, it'll be our third year rooming together there. I was, we we're best buddies in high school. We're like brothers, so uh, we actually battle each other all the time. So. Uh, we actually know the way each other battles a lot, and so it, we have to get pretty creative with the way we can battle a lot of the times. So or uh, we have to try to figure out how each other's is going, how each other is going to do something, just because we know each other's styles so well. Um, uh, so I'll go over his team. Uh, his main mons are uh, Tapu Bulu, uh, Garchomp, Thunderous, Therian, uh, Sylveon. Uh, Volcanian and Don Fan. Those are his OU and UU. Uh, his Tapu Bulu is his Z assistant captain, and his Sylveon is his Z uh, captain. So, uh, with his draft, I'm actually terrified uh, because that Bulu can be set up Swords Dance, it can be Scarf, just hit really hard. It has, sets up Grassy Terrain, which gets rid of uh, my normal terrain. Uh, gets rid of my psychic terrain so uh, it, it can change the effects of that um, a lot of different things that are actually terrifying uh, banded it can super bulky as well uh, and his next mod is Garchomp which is same kind of thing you can set up it can actually be defensive uh, stealth rock rocky helmet with rough skin um, it, it's a problem and it just hits really, really hard. So he has Thundee T, which is another super hard hitter, but this time especially. Uh, gets knockoff, Volt Switch, his insane coverage. Um, 145 special attack stat, and it's still 101 speed, so it outspeeds those base 100s. Um, it's also a huge problem. Was, this OU draft is stupid. I don't know how we let him have such a broken draft. Um, his fourth Mon is Sylveon. I actually had the first pick, and I went with Arcanine. I think he had the third or fourth, and he grabbed Sylveon. I really, really wanted Sylveon. I had Sylveon last year. It was by far my MVP. It won the defensive MVP for the league as well. So it's insanely good. He knows the power from my Sylveon, and he brings it to his Sylveon as well. Uh, he drafted it pretty much because I didn't, and he didn't want me getting it, and... Uh, which is a good call on his part. Uh, I didn't get it because I already had my fairy type in Tapu Lele, uh, but he already had a fairy type anyway, and he still has Sylveon, and that was probably the better call. Um, I probably could have gotten Arcanine second round anyway. Um, or this other monster, which I was looking at, was Volcanian. Uh, so he has that too, and uh, it's a problem as stupid coverage could be assault vested uh, it can be scarfed as well but it's not as fast as you would hope uh, but it gets water absorbed as well so you can't hit it with nice and neutral water attacks it can wall my Greninja Skarmory pretty much everything it can wall a lot of different things uh, so uh, is six Mon is the Don fan uh, which was he actually won the regular season last year uh, we had a a not close close match for the final battle of the season where I prepped really really well for it with my Sylveon specifically and uh, I had the poison berry on it the, I think the Kebia berry or no the the steel the steel berry uh, I think it's the berry berry we had, I had the, the berry berry and the Sylveon and it was built to take a hit from a plus two Kieran Black, which was on his team, and it would have, but it got crit and died, and then my team got swept by a uh, plus two attack, plus two special attack, um, K 
Kieran Black that was behind a sub and had speed raised to be as he had Ninja Ask. So he passed a sub and a speed raise with the Ninja Ask and uh, he had a weakness policy. So I hit him with a high, pixelate hyper voice, set off his weakness policy. It was at like 30%. And he just kind of ran through my team. I broke the sub, uh, but he, he, he broke my team. Um, but because of that, he, he won the regular season. So he actually has Don Fan for his uh, for his franchise mon because we did Baron, ban Kieran B this year. Uh, thank God his team would have been even scarier with that thing. Uh, so he has the Don Fan, which is great for rocks. Uh, and spinner, it's the best rapid spin stealth rock combo in the game. Pretty much, uh, it can be assault vested, but he'll probably normally run lefties or rocky helmet with that. Um, special wall, don't rest on it. Just because it can tank a little bit, and it's super defensive and actually has really good attack as well. Uh, so uh, that is actually his only spinner on his team, though. It's his only way to get rid of hazards. Uh, so if he doesn't bring that, he can't get rid of hazards, which I do plan on taking advantage, full advantage of in our match. His next mod is Minior, uh, which is one of the best shell smashers in the game. Like I said, I don't know how his team is so fucking busted, but it is. Uh, his Minior, uh, he, he loves that thing. He knows how to use it really well. He's, he's used pretty much all of these mons before, so he actually can use his team very well. Uh, the mini orc can be special or physical. It's normally pretty much just used for shell smash setup, though. Um, and he does love that thing. Uh, the next mon is Dewblade uh, in his RU picks. Uh, Dewblade's just super bulky and a perfect answer for my Tapu Fini. So... Um, I expect him to bring it. Uh, he has Snorlax as well, which is really, really good. Um, I'm not bringing any fighting coverage, which might be bad for the Snorlax. Uh, if he does bring it, if he brings a Curse Lax, um, I might get fucked. I don't want to, but it happens. Uh, curse Lax is that good. He, he sniped me a lot with these picks as well. I, I really wanted Snorlax. Um, and if I didn't go Arcanine, I was probably going to go this fire type with Darmanitan. It's a sheer force user. Uh, I don't know if he knows about the Life Ore pack, but if he has Flare Blitz and Rock Slide on his Darmanitan, uh, and he has a Life Orb, he doesn't take Life Orb damage. Um, I guess I'm warning him now that he, he'll probably use that. But uh, yeah, he can do that. And it has 145 attack and base 95 speed. So that's nothing to laugh at either. Oh, 140 attack. So it's nothing to laugh at. It is the hardest hitting fire move in the game with a sheer force diamond tan holding a choice band. It does insane amounts of damage. So it's not fun. Um, so that was his swing pick. So he stole that from Yu Yu. And then his. Last picks is NU and PU or Vikavolt, which isn't anything to laugh at either, just because it hits really hard. All of his mons hit stupid hard. He has 145 special attack in this. You can't rest out on either because it does get agility for setup. And it's Levitate, so it's not weak to ground. His Palisand, uh, which is super bulky and has really good, really good uh, recovery. Um, and shores up and... He has uh, water compaction as ability as well. Uh, so it doesn't weaken water moves, but uh, you don't necessarily want to hit it with water because uh, it does make its defenses better. His next mod was Sock in NU. Uh, Sock is, is a somewhat... It's, it's a poor man's pickup for Mold Breaker. Um, it's, it's really good. It's still got... It's got Pretty average-ish to fastish speed with 85. Uh, it does have that 125 attack though, and you can't rest on like a scarf, uh, scarf retaliate set, which is he has run before. Uh, scarf 
close combat, scarf scarf earthquake. It's uh, it's 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 still pretty good. And then his PU picks, actually some of the better PU picks in the draft. He has Perugly just to fill in those rolls with that thick fat, so he can actually tank a bit. Um, and he has the speed as well with that 112 speed. It's actually a really good speed tier to hit. Um, it it force things like my Raikou to run pretty much full speed. Um, uh, but other than that, it's it's not used for too, too much. It's a good fake-out user. And then he has Meowstic Mail. Um, it, he'd use it for mainly that Prankster, um, which did get nerfed this gen, so he can't hit like my Greninja with Prankster at all, which is good. So that means Gren can't hit, get hit with like a T-Wave, and Mamo can't get hit with a T-Wave. Um, so I'm not too, too worried about this thing, just because those would end its life and it can't answer those uh, with like a T-Wave. So uh, so that's that's pretty much his team. Uh, what I expect him to bring is I actually even built the team that I want someone to mock me with. Um, I expect him to bring Bulu, Thunderous T, Volcanion, Donphan, uh, Shell Smash Minior, and a Dewblade. Um, the Bulu pretty much answers my entire team except for my Skarmory, which is the best counter to Bulu. Um, so I'm terrified of it. <sighs> Who would it be? Uh, he has the Thunder ET, uh, which I expect him to bring Scarf because he knows I have a sticky web user and Thunderous doesn't touch the ground so it keeps its speed and with the Scarf Thunderous it outspeeds everything I have on my team unless I choose to Scarf Gren. Um, which it can, it, it, it's not too, too scared of. But I'm scared of, if, I'm scared of Thunderous, because uh, it hits hard as fuck. Uh, next mon is Volcanion. I expect him to bring that Assault Vest set, because like I said, it does wall most of my team. Um, Flamethrower, Steam Eruption, Hidden Power Grass, Earth Power. Uh, oh, I forgot to go over the moves. So, is Tapu Bulu, I expect to have Horn Leech, just because why run, um, why run Woodhammer when you can run Horn Leech in grassy terrain and still kill everything and get his health back? Uh, he has Stone Edge, Superpower, and then he doesn't need a fourth move, so he's just running Sword Stance. And he has that Kevia Berry because he knows Gren can get Gunk Shot, which is coverage for that Tapu Bulu. So I expect him to be able to play around that with that Kevia Berry, and it can actually tank it very, very well. I think it only takes like 70% or 65% with the way I even built it, which is pretty much fully attack. Uh, it can, I think if you pretty much build it like just full HP, it only takes like 50. So, so it's it's not anything to laugh at. Um, yeah, I expect that Scarf Thunderous, like I said, with Volt Switch, Flash Cannon, and Empower Ice and Grass Knot, pretty much cover for, coverage for my entire team. That Grass Knot uh, is scary to um, I Gastrodon, and he ran, gra he ran, he actually hit in power grass, but grass knot's a better coverage move for that because he can run a different hit in power. Um, and I expect him to run grass knot this week so he can have the hit in power ice as well. Um, and the grass knot covers my gastro, and he faced Quagsire last, last week, and he had that grass move on his specs, Thunderous. Um, and it's it's scary it's scary to gastro um and anything i have to cover this thunderous has coverage for my entire team as well but i do expect it to be locked into a move um just because it i th i expect the scarf like 80 percent sure it's coming just because without it gren does outspeed it and uh, it's not living a specs hydro pump it's not living and I don't even know if it can live a normal, a normal ice beam. Uh, so, uh, Gren can have coverage for that, uh, just just in case. Uh, the Volcanian uh, is scary, just like I said, it walls my entire team. Flamethrower, Steam Eruption, Hidden Power Grass again for Gastro um, and my other water mons, just because this thing can wall those with Water Absorb uh, and Earth Power just to round that off for things like my Raikou if it switches in. I expect the Don Fan, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Knockoff. Uh, he might forego this and go like Garchomp or um, 
like a different mon, maybe Palisand, I don't know. Um, but I do have the Donphan on that mock team just because uh, it is his only rapid spinner. Uh, and with stealth, uh, with my stealth rocks and all my hazard threats like toxic spikes, normal spikes, uh, especially with this Skarmory on my team, I do expect him to bring that rapid spin. Um, uh, because if he doesn't, I can set up like my webs and then they're just stuck there. And um, uh, some of his mons wouldn't like that at all. Like if he runs a skull, Scarf Volcanion, um, it needs those webs gone because if the webs are up, uh, I can just kill it with Mammo. Uh, like a Scarf Bulu to outspeed a Greninja needs, uh, needs that up as well. Uh, because without it, I kill it with Gren. Um, and then I expect the Earthquake and Knockoff. Um, I don't think Ice Shard. I, Ice Shard, I'm not too, too worried about on my team anyway. Um, if he brings the Ice Shard, Ice Shard, good for him. And But my answer to it is actually a bit better. I have that Knockoff on there because it has coverage for my answer to it. Uh, you'll see in, in a second what I mean. Uh... He has the Mini Ore, Shell Smash, Acrobatics, Rock Slide. He pretty much only needs those two moves on there. Um, then it kills my entire team, which is fun. Uh, I expect him to bring Weakness Policy. I know he wants to bring that set at some point, and so I do expect him to bring it against me just because he loves using Weakness Policy against me and destroying my life with a Mon that's completely set up. So I ex expect him to bring it. Um, I know he wants the set, and with the way I built it is the super most well, super devised uh, stats you'll see out there. It actually lives uh, Choice Specs Ice Beam uh, from a Greninja. With this it lives at a max. takes 99%. Um, and I expect the Minior to come as well just because uh, like the Thunderous it doesn't touch the ground so it wouldn't take anything from those webs. Um, I have the hidden power, hidden power grass on there as well, just because he knows I love gastro, um, and water ground mons are that good. So uh, I think his final mon might be a dew blade. Uh, this is the one I'm not totally totally sure about. A volcanian as well. The volcanian might be a darm like a choice banded darmanitan. I'm not too worried if the darmanitan is choice banded though, uh, because then it does get slowed um, by webs. I am bringing webs this week. By the way, if you haven't picked that up. Um, with the Dewblade, uh, Iron Head, Pursuit, Shadow Claw. I think the Pursuit will be there for things like Sh uh, Celebi, which might try to U-turn out of there, or uh, if Tapu Lele is trying to get on out. Um, I think he might have Pursuit for that kind of thing. Uh, Shadow Claw, just because it, it being that answer to Tapu Lele, it, uh, he wouldn't be able to run Shadow Sneak. It wouldn't be able to hit me. So I'm pretty sure he'd bring Shadow Claw if he does bring it, just because it's that answer to Lele, so it can hit it. Uh, with the Shadow Claw, it might run Shadow Sneak, though, um, just because it actually has a better answer. I'll change that right now. It actually has that better answer to Lele and Iron Head anyway. Um, uh, but who, who knows? Who, who knows what he would do? Uh, so that's the team I expect him to bring. Um, I'm assuming I might be pretty close to it just because I know the way he'll run things. Um, but I don't know. So how we're going to get into this as well, we're going to get into my team that I built for him. So here's my first mon. Uh, it is my Greninja. Uh, Shinobi the Greninja. Uh, it's, uh, I'm actually bringing Z-Move this week. This is my assistant captain. Um, so... I can I can bring those attacking Z moves on there. Uh, right now I'm bringing Z move. I was debating between Z move and Expert Belt. Expert Belt would give me a bit more damage on Gunk Shot and Ice Beam, uh, and Rock Slide and Dark Bolts obviously as well. Um, all those have insane coverage for his entire team. So I have coverage for Bulu, Garchomp, Thunderous, uh, Sylveon, Volcanion, Don Fan, Minior, Dewblade. I don't for the Snorlax, which is why I expect him to bring it. Just uh, if, if he brings it, it might be instead of that Dew Blade, and it'll terrify the hell out of me. Um, just because I don't have a direct answer to it. 
necessarily. Um, Darmanitan, I don't have an I do have an answer for in Rockslide. Uh, Vikavolt, Palisand, um, Sock, I don't have a move for. Progly, I don't have a move for. Um, so it's, it's those three mods: Sock, Progly, and Snorlax. I don't have super effective moves for. Uh, so an expert belt would really get a lot of use, which is why I might change it. You might see it get changed. Uh, but the ICMZ is that nuke. I need to take, like, if that, um, if I really want to get rid of the Mini Ore, uh, I can guarantee it with an ICMZ. Um, really want to get rid of the Guard Chomp, want to get rid of the Bulu. Uh, I need the Bulu Weaken first to kill it with ICMZ, and that'd only be to get around it because you would be expecting the Gunk Shot because I am a mainly physical Greninja uh, this week. Um, so he might, and I did go Ice Beam. Um, because it is better for the Garchomp than Ice Punch. Even if I build pretty much fully attack, uh, it is better for the Garchomp still. So uh, it did go Ice Beam. Um, but a physical Greninja is better against most of his team this week. Like Sylveon with the Gunk Shot. Bulu, um, I need the Gunk Shot. I don't have coverage any other way for it. Um, and, and pretty much everything else as well. Uh, I need I need the Rock Slide. Uh, for Volcanion, I need that way to hit it. Uh, pretty much walls me any other way. I do have Dark Pulse. I went Dark Pulse as well because Dark Pulse does more damage than Night Slash as well um, because of uh, higher base power. And it gives me that 30% uh, flinch chance, which is always fun. If I can get one, one flinch uh, can change an entire match. Uh, so Greninja pretty much answers most of his team. And with the webs I'm bringing, I should outspeed pretty much all his team, including Scarfers. Uh, I have uh, speed crept uh, mini ore at base speed with 120, um, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. If I like uh, whirlwind it out or anything, um, I I do outspeed. So uh, that next mon I'm bringing is an assault vest mammo. That might change as well. Um, uh, and quickly looking at his team, it's super weak to ice and ground. Um, I am nervous bringing Earthquake just in the ground type just because of that Tapu Bulu, and I don't have a way to get rid of the terrain. Um, I, as you see, I'm not bringing Tapu Lele. Um, so not bringing the Tapu Lele, uh, I don't have a way to get rid of the grassy terrain. So things like a Volcanion might be a problem. Um, things like a Dewblade might be a problem. Um, uh, some some things that I'd easily answer with an Earthquake might definitely be problems. That's why I am packing Knockoff on there, which helps for that Dewblade as well. Um, but most of his team I do answer with the Ice moves anyway, so I'm not as worried for it. Um, Icicle Crash and Ice Shard are super spammable against his team. Um, I, it was, again, debating between Icicle Plate, uh, Assault Vest, um, Expert Belt similarly too, but uh, not as much. I'd probably run that on Grant if I ran it on anything. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so, like I said, that Permafrost, the Mammoth Swine, is going to be huge again this game. Um, it's it's been huge each game. Even that first week when I didn't really use it, uh, it still was huge in the prep and huge as a threat on there. So you had to play around it. Uh, and then, like I said, as you saw, I am bringing webs this week. I'm bringing Hermes the Cricketune. He's getting his first use. Um, I named him Hermes because uh, Hermes brought the lyre in Greek mythology. He brought the lyre, and that is what uh, Cricketune is based off of. He's a musical instrument, um, so that's where I got that name from. Um, I'm bringing a pretty speedy Hermes, uh, so it's designed to outspeed. Um, I think that's his. I think he has a base sixty mon, base sixty speed. I think it outspeeds Sylveon. Um, yeah, Sylveon's base sixty, so it's built to outspeed anything up Sylveon and below, uh, especially the Don fan. 
Uh, so what's huge about outspeeding the Don Fan is I can get up Sticky Webs first turn, especially with that Focus Sash. Uh, it's super important. This is my dedicated lead. Uh, somewhat of a suicidal lead, but uh, it happens. Sometimes you got to do that. I at the Sticky Web lead, um, no matter what he brings, I will get that off. If there's no Don Fan, guaranteed Sticky Webs. And if then if I want to, I can switch out. Um, first turn, he might go for Stealth Rocks, predicting me to switch out uh, for like Stone Edge or anything. Uh, who knows? And he might go for the Rapid Spin. Uh, be really smart if he did, uh, just because then he gets Sticky Webs. Then he breaks the he breaks the sash with the rapid spin and spins away the webs. Um, but I, I do have those sticky webs there. Um, and then my other th three moves are pretty important. I have taunt. Uh, so if he if he doesn't lead with the dime fan, um, and I do get sticky webs off, and he brings in the dime fan on my Hermes uh, to get rid of the webs, I can actually... Uh, I can taunt it so that it can't set up stealth rocks because uh, you'll see in a bit I'm actually not bringing hazard removal um, and so what's important is having that taunt and if I do get sticky webs up and he doesn't bring Don fam it can be taunt I can taunt anything like the Garchomp that wants to set up webs um, that wants to set up rocks I mean uh, anything that's uh, somewhat slower that's why I'm also building it speedy so that uh, I will be faster than a lot of those things so I can actually taunt them which could could be huge I'm bringing the toxic because um, I it'll help me toxic stall things out if I really really need to I hate toxic stalling uh, but sometimes you got to do it uh, so if like that car chomp is bulky um, toxic might help with that uh, anything like the sylveon toxic can really help uh, toxic in the Bulu, anything I can wear down, uh, Toxic could be really huge for. Uh, so, another really, really important Mon, um, uh, is Miss Magius. Um, this is that answer to, uh, the Don Fan, like I said. Uh, and I'm not scared of Don Fan necessarily, uh, but it can stop my whole setup for my team this week. So getting rid of it is important, and being able to answer it is important. Um, so this is Bellatrix, the Miss Magius. Bellatrix comes from Harry Potter. It's uh, one of the evil witches, uh, and so I, I, th I thought it fit, fit Miss Magius. I'm carrying a Cobra Berry uh, for predicting that knockoff on the Don Fan. I can take one. Uh, I'm fully defensive as well, uh, so I shouldn't take I shouldn't take up too much damage from that. I can Willow it. Um, which could be super important. And I'm carrying Hex because I plan on willowing anything I can willow. Uh, Garchomp coming in, anything like that. I have Levitate, so I can't get hit with Earthquake from Don Fan. Uh, Rapid Spin can't hit me because I'm Ghost-type, so he can't spin away any of his rocks, or he can't spin away my webs either, which is why I'm bringing it. It is, especially since he only has the Don Fan to get rid of rocks and webs. If I have them, as long as the Miss Magius is on my side, he can't get rid of them and even if uh, he's already knocked off my Cobra Berry and I have to force send in a Miss Magius and he knows it's coming in and I know it's going in and it gets killed with a knockoff I can have that clean switch into something like a Greninja or a Mamoswine uh, that that can kill it so um, on there I also have Pain Split uh, uh, which is reliable ish recovery uh, I have a lower HP stat so uh, being able to get that back is is big um, so if like a guard chomp is out pain split can be big uh, especially if I've loaded it already where it won't be doing too too much to me um, hex obviously like I said it's huge with the willow on there it's base 110 uh, or is it base 130 yeah it's base 130 um, Base 130 with uh, with something burned or toxic from that Hermes. Um, and that fourth move is the Icy Wind. So anything like the Garchomp or especially things like the Thunderous, Icy Wind is going to be huge. Because if I land that Icy Wind on that Thunderous, 
knowing that it's scarfed, uh, my grand does outspeed it again. So I don't need to worry about that. Anything like uh, the mini or if I can take one, uh, and I, I see wind it, uh, I don't I don't outspeed it again because it is plus two. But if I get like two AC winds off or um, anything like that, AC wind can can be huge. Um, so uh, getting into the more walls, uh, these are like these two mons. Technically, Miss Magius I built as a wall, um, but it, it's built to not take too too many. Uh, but it can take some. These are more the stat. Um, super important mons that uh, have their role and as long as they execute their role I should be fine uh, those are my two wall breakers and here's my two walls um, in first one in my skarmory as I said I wasn't bringing any removal because uh, my most reliable removal in defog and what fit on my team in defog with skarmory um, I didn't want to get rid of the rock. I didn't want to get rid of the webs or the rocks in any way. I didn't want to be able to have to get rid of the webs, especially if I lost my Hermes and it came down to the choice of defogging or uh, or leaving the rocks up on my side of the field. Uh, I, I was going to take having my webs up 100% of the time anyway. So, so uh, having that it is very very important um so i i didn't i didn't bring defog on there uh if i wanted to bring rapid spin i would have had to bring um i would have had to bring my blastoise which i haven't brought yet um it, it'll definitely get brought i love blastoise um but with this team it didn't fit in necessarily this is a blastoise or gastrodon um and while i think he will definitely have answers for gastrodon gastrodon still is a better answer for his team um, than Blastoise. So, because technically Gastrodon, if he isn't smart enough to bring a uh, grass type move on his Thunderous, uh, Gastrodon walls it hard. Uh, Gastrodon walls the Volcanian. Uh, while Volcanian still walls the Gastrodon somewhat. Um, I do have Earth Power on the Gastrodon and it, it can't hit me with water moves. So, uh, but this Skarmory is built uh, pretty much the way, similar to the way I've been building it the past few weeks. Um, just because it already has stupid high defense, so raising that special defense helps a lot. Gives it that mixed bulk. Um, still sturdy, still leftovers. Um, but it's Whirlwind. Let's get out any of the setup mons, because he, he has a bunch and he loves setting up. If he doesn't bring one setup mon to a game, uh, I doubt he's even the one playing it. Just because he loves running setup. Uh, Roost, obviously for that reliable recovery. Iron Head uh, for attack because it answers his fairies and does pretty well against his team. Besides things like uh, uh, Volcanian and uh, Darmanitan, but I'm not going to leave him in against those anyway. Um, and that last move is Stealth Rock. I haven't brought Stealth Rocks on him yet this season. Um, or have I? No, I haven't. Um, so Stealth Rocks and him is huge because um, if the Don fan's gone or uh, even if I know the Don fan's coming in to switch in anything like that as long as the Don fan's not in directly against my Skarmory um, I know we can't rapid spin away uh, because I will have that Miss Magius so I can just get up those Stealth Rocks and once Stealth Rocks are up they're up for good so getting that constant chip on like Tapu Bulu is great um, because once I, I think once I chip it, um, I have a pretty good chance to kill it, even if it's full HP with, uh, Z Ice Beam, uh, from Greninja, um, wiring down things like the Thunderous T, which is weak to rocks, the Minior is huge, the Volcanian's huge, the Jarmanitan is huge, all that stuff is really huge to get that big chip on, um. Nothing in this team really resists rocks besides the Dewblade, uh, the Don Fan maybe, yeah, the Don Fan, um, and the Palace and the Sock. They're the only things that resist it. Everything else, it's still constant twelve percent on when he's switching in. So it's it's really important to get 
get get all that chip damage in there and get everything speed lowered. Um, and with that speed lowered, uh, I might be outspeeding some of his walls as well. So it it, it could be it could be big. Skarmory is the huge wall, huge wall too. It's the only answer I have for Bulu on my entire team. Everything else gets killed by Bulu. So as long as Bulu's around, I need the, I need the Skarmory. Um, you'll be seeing me use the Roost a lot, which is why I have the Willow on Bellatrix and the Toxic on Hermes, because I don't have a slot on him that I can afford to put anything in. And if I see Bulu set up a world, uh, set up a Sword Stance, I am whirlwinding immediately. Um, so that last mod on my team is Cindy the Gastro. Uh, Gastrodon is huge, always like always. I have that mix, uh, the mix set where I can take some defensive hits, I can take some special hits as well. Um, I have a Rindo Berry, which is my plan for the uh, uh, my plan for the Thunder T or anything running a surprising grass move. I'll be able to take those. I just can't take uh, anything from the Tapu Bulu because uh, nothing can take anything from the Tapu Bulu. Um, I have the Rindo on there. Uh, so I only take around 50% uh, I think at most 57 from a Specs, Modest Specs Thunderous T from a uh, um, Grass Knot. So I, I, I'm not I'm not taking a lot. Um, I obviously can't recover up because I only have one Rindo Berry. Um, but it is huge and I actually do... Um, I do... Over 50%, I can do over 50% with the Ice Beam as well. Uh, so if it's come in twice on rocks, I kill it. Uh, if it's come in once, I have the Ice Beam. Or even if it hasn't come in on rocks once at all, I have the Ice Beam. And I can kill it with a Nice Shard from my Mammoth Swine. Um, so I'm not... It helps me not be too, too worried for the Thunderous. I just need to be careful if I'm trying to switch this thing in on Thunderous. Uh, which is why my Mammoth Swine also has that Assault Vest. Uh, because I expect that grass knot. Um, and then I have earth power in there, uh, which helps wall that Volcanian. It's that wall for that Volcanian. Uh, it, if he runs um, uh, solar beam on his Volcanian, power of solar beam, uh, the Rindo helps me answer that as well. Um, I, like I said, I can only take one, and I'm not really an answer for Thunderous after that, but the Rindo helps me be prepared for the unpredictable. Um, uh, and then I have Clear Smog on there as well. So if I predict the, the Bulu switch in, Clear Smog is four times effective. I'll get a good good amount of chip on that. And it actually helps me get rid of that uh, Poison Berry, the Kevia Berry. It helps me get rid of that as well if it is running it. And if it is running it, then I'll see it. I'll get the, that chip off with it. Um, if it's not running it, I'll see that it's not running it because it will take straight damage from it. Uh, so either way, it is important to find out. Uh, so a lot of times you'll see on the switch me hit that clear smog. And the clear smog is important for things like, uh, for things like that many are. Sorry, um, I'm tired. I've been working really, really hard lately at work. Um, uh, so for that things like that many are, uh, Clear Smog can be really important as well. And Sylveon, because um, we'd somewhat both wall each other just because we're both tanks and we can easily take stuff like that. Don't have super effective moves for each other except for that Clear Smog. Right. Uh, so this is my team. Um, I'm nervous and excited uh, for this for this battle this week. Um, we battle on Friday night right now. Um, so... I I am nervous, but I think I built pretty well. I think it's a very interesting team. It's not something you normally see in like a normal battle, but that's what happens with draft leagues. Uh, you can you get some pretty weird looking teams. Uh, so uh, thanks again. Uh, excited for this battle, and uh, if I do update this, uh, you'll you should see that too. See you guys. Thanks again.